Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review of the Wyler the Koori Warrior series by Jordan Gould and Richard Pritchard. This is a fantastic First Nations fantasy adventure series. Book three comes out at the start of June. It is called Protectors, and I thought this is a wonderful time to actually just review the series as a whole. I do want to acknowledge that Alan Unwin sent me a copy of the third book for review, so thank you very much to them. We do start with book one, which is Guardians, then Custodians, and then finally Protectors. So this is the story of an Aboriginal village that Wyla belongs to. She is a young woman. She has just been invited to teach her first art class to the children in the village. She's been following along with her grandmother who has been the, the teacher and their village is attacked by an outside invading force that have dragons. Many people in the village are killed including her grandmother and others are captured but Wyla and a small group of children who had been in one of the local cave systems and learning about art aren't taken or killed because they've been hidden away. And when the mantle of being the Koori warrior, which is kind of like the protector for the village, is passed on to Wyla, she is not certain that she is the right person for it. She struggles with feeling like she is worthy of that role and with understanding it, especially in the face of such devastation and her village being destroyed. She and the remaining survivors have to set off to local villages to try and ask them to lend them their totems, which contain these amazing creatures and animals of legend of First Nations legends that can help protect each village and by the other villagers lending them to Wyla she can harness all of their powers and try and fight back the invading force. If you're thinking to yourself, gee this sounds a bit like a colonization story, you would be 100% correct. So through the first two books it is really about Wyla learning how to harness the abilities that she has, learning how to be a good leader and fighting back against the invading forces. And then in book three we begin to introduce new elements to the story and I don't want to give too much away because obviously it's the third book in the series so spoilers. Wyla is beginning to be recognized by other villages and other clans that she is the Koori warrior but some of them want to test her. She has to set out to help mediate various issues with different villages or to help them with certain problems and so it forces her to really begin to evaluate her leadership again in another way and at times it's quite challenging for her and she's still learning exactly who is friend and who is foe and even who the true enemy actually is because in this book we get a huge stack of reveals. All of these books are fun and fast paced. They are just so enjoyable to read. You get maps and illustrations the whole way through the book. Like they're just amazing. Sometimes they're sort of threaded into, into the story, sometimes they're header chapters. I also really love how this incorporates a lot of myth and legend from Australian and First Nations history. So you have things like bunyips and drop bears and all sorts of other amazing totem animals and creatures that all have their own abilities, who Wyla has to earn the trust of, and I just love how they become this big found family and they're all working together for the for a common cause. So if you have not started this series and you are looking for a fantasy adventure story that has some really wonderful First Nations representation in here, I would highly recommend these. I mean, honestly, I just, I, I love all of these characters. I would highly recommend you pick this up. They're really fast and easy to read. So I will leave links down below where you can find out more information about all the books in the series, but in particular the third book, because yay, happy book birthday to Protectors. I'm glad that it has come out this year, and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this series and reading the next book when it comes out. Thank you again to the publisher for sending me a copy of the third book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great, great read. In the comments, I'd love to know if you've read the series, or if you have recommendations for other First Nations fantasy adventure stories, feel free to leave them down below so other people can find them. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're on the world, just staying safe and healthy. Healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.